Hey everyone, welcome back. At the time of releasing this video, I would have released 26 other YouTube videos. Now for argument's sake, we're just gonna say that I've released 25 and this video is going to be a reflection on those first 25 videos. This is excluding YouTube Shorts, by the way. I want to share with you what I have learned over these past 25 videos. And to be honest, there were things that I didn't even realize were so important yet so substantial. I thought I'd just make this video so that if you think that you wanna start something and you wanna stay committed to it, then you have a few lessons underneath your belt that can really kind of almost fast forward your way through that skill, through that new thing that you're trying to learn how to do so that you can stay on top of things and get closer to the goals that you want to reach. So let's get straight into it. The first point, and it's a really important one, is that you're always growing. It did not take me long to realize just how long it's going to take for me to grow on a platform like YouTube. You have creators like Ali Abdal and Matt Duvela that harp on about how long it takes to actually grow on YouTube until you develop a good bank of content, until you keep creating value for your subscribers, until you keep on doing that for a decent amount of time. Only then, after about maybe a few years, if you're lucky enough, will your content actually really hit the right people and resonate with them. And then you get to a point where you blow up or or you start gaining a lot of traction within the system and within the algorithm. So I knew in terms of metrics, in terms of subscribers and views, that I wasn't going to grow extremely fast. But what I did realize was, was that although I may not be growing on the outside, internally I'm growing extremely fast. I mean, if we just kind of rewind time a little bit and take a look at my first video right here. I mean, we've got six weeks at home that we can pretty much use to learn, grow and change and become a better version of ourselves. Man, I can't, I can't stand looking at, I can't, I can't stand. We can see how I present and how comfortable I feel on camera then is so much different to how I am now. Of course, we've upgraded the gear and everything, but most importantly, I feel like internally, how comfortable I feel and how confident I feel on camera is completely different to where I was. So although it's hard to see growth externally, it's like amazing how much growth happens internally, especially within the first few months, within the first few years. By the way, to all my current subscribers, thank you so much for sticking around. You have no idea how grateful I am for you. I love you to bits. Now, if you aren't subscribed and you wanna feel the love, then by all means, click that subscribe button below and you can be a part of the fam. The more, the merrier. So how I want you to think about whatever it is that you wanna start or whatever it is that you wanna learn is that I want you to focus too much on the external factors, on how you'd see maybe more views and more subscribers or you'd be able to play this song over that song. But I want you to see how you've grown internally. Like, are you able to pick up things that you couldn't pick up before? Are you able to communicate things that you couldn't communicate before? Do you feel like you're a lot more comfortable with whatever it is that you are doing? Like for example, when I first learned to public speak, I remember it'd be like Niagara Falls under my armpits, right? I'd literally be standing there shaking with a piece of paper in my hand and like my voice quivering and all that as I delivered a speech. Like that was me when I was like in year seven, year eight. But then as I kind of experienced a lot more going in front of people and speaking in front of them, I ended up being so much more confident with what I said and ultimately myself as well. Okay, the next thing, patience. I'm one of those people that is so used to instant gratification. Like I can watch whatever TV show I want. I can skip a song if I want to. I can search up information on pretty much anything without having to go to a library. And so I think what I have fallen into the trap of is seeking results immediately. And it makes me forget more often than not how much time, effort, and patience is actually required to achieve results sometimes. A lot of the results that I'm after do not come on demand. They do not come with instant gratification. So I've got to be extremely patient. We've got to be extremely patient because we know that the things that we are after, they take a lot of time and they take a lot of effort and more often than not patience. I remember those days when I was a kid and if there was a show on TV that I didn't like, I had no choice but to watch it. Like that's all I got. But now we've got Disney Plus, we've got Netflix, we've got Amazon Prime, right? We can choose so many different things, so many different genres and chuck it on and be completely okay and happy with whatever it is that we see. And so this is kind of like, changed our thinking and changed our expectations to a point where we want things and we expect things to happen for us immediately at a click of a button, 
at a swipe of a thumb. And like, we just get stuck. And we wonder why we can't achieve things. And we wonder why we don't have enough focus. The main point that I'm trying to communicate is patience is just an, a super important thing if we want big results. So we may not get the results now, but in time we will, and we will be prepared when we do get them. Number three, no one cares. I went to a public school in Melbourne. There was a lot of discrimination, a lot of judgment. And so for me to start YouTube or really put myself out there, there was a lot of looks of like, oh my gosh, how could you do that? Like, what do you think you're doing? Like, who do you think you are? People are gonna find this weird. People aren't going to support me. They're gonna trash talk me behind my back. And so I thought that that's what's gonna happen when I release my first YouTube video. And when I first released it, I was so scared because I was like, man, I'm gonna receive so much flack for this. But instead of copying a lot of hatred and a lot of dirty looks, I copped nothing but love and support. And so I sit here and think, maybe I might over exaggerate how people will react if we do things. And so it stops us from putting in effort towards things that we actually really care about. To that I say, just do it. Like forget what anyone else thinks and just do it. There's not enough time. Like you have to think about how long we've like, this is gonna take a really cynical turn. But if you think about how long you have left to live, like, yeah, you're, you're probably young when you're watching this video, but like, we're all gonna die one day. So just do what you want. Like, why would you bother about what someone thinks of you? Like, of course, yeah, these are things that, you know, they bother us and we really care about. And sometimes, you know, their views are valid. But really, if you know that you've got something that you love, that you enjoy doing, and you think it's gonna bring you a lot of happiness and maybe other people around you happiness as well, then go and chase it. Like more often than not, people will support you. In fact, more people will support you than you realize. And even if they do hate, like even if they do end up becoming someone that gives you dirty looks, that doesn't support what you are doing, who cares? At the end of the day, you can find your community. You can find your people and see where you fit in and see where you belong. And another thing to that, which is the title of this point, which is no one cares. Frankly, no one gives a damn because people are so focused on what's happening in their own lives that they don't have the time nor the will to actually focus any of their attention onto you. So take that as fact and go and do whatever it is that you want to do. All right, the next one, consistency gets rewarded. I've uploaded 25 videos in 10 months. Now I calculated that and that equates to about a video every 12 days, which in my opinion is not enough. It's not consistent enough to experience the growth that I want to experience internally and externally. If I really want to grow like on YouTube, then I'd have to upload at least once a week. And that too, I'd have to make sure that I'm consistently providing value to you guys. And I know this is my fault because I still find the time to binge watch TV shows. I still find the time to scroll through TikTok. Like I find the time to do all these things. So it's about me more so creating content rather than spending so much time consuming content. And so I'd like to ask you a question and I'd like you to like kind of reflect on this, but where in your life have you been inconsistent? And where in your life have you been inconsistent and expect results that you know only to come with consistent effort? Like you can take this out of the realm of like skills that we learn or things that we do. We can take this to relationships as well. Like how can you expect consistency from someone if you aren't consistent in the relationship yourself? Oh, my bad. You thought this was just gonna be about YouTube and like learning skills and like learning new things? Nah, we're, we're going there, we're going there. Like if we want results and we want a deep connection with anyone, and this doesn't have to be in like a romantic relationship with someone, this can be like a friendship. If we are not, if we are not consistent with those things, in those friendships, in those relationships, then the reality is it's gonna get inconsistent results and we're gonna feel up and down all the time consistently. That's in fact, inconsistency is the only consistency that we will experience. I like that, I should write that down. That's gonna be my next quote that I post on Instagram. By the way, follow me if you're not. And so the final point, authenticity. 
I've noticed that the videos that I have the most watch time on and the ones that I've actually felt the most drawn to where I've kind of gone off these on these random rants, it's the ones where I've just felt like I'm just myself, like I'm just being real on camera. I've been real and as authentic as I can be. I haven't tried to be anyone else but myself. Like I'm just a 23 year old kid that's trying to figure life out and who's sometimes a bit of a mess. And so whatever it is that you are doing and whatever it is that you're trying to do, I encourage you 110%. And I cannot mean this anymore, but I want you to bring as much of yourself to that activity as you can. And yes, although it is exposing, people see it and they wanna support that. So go, be authentic and be your true self. Like there's no better service that you could do to yourself and the rest of humanity if you did that. My friend, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with a friend or two if you found it valuable to you. Check out this video over here. That might really spark your interest. And I guess I'll see you in the next one.